It's a huge undertaking to fix what some call hopelessly broken. Right now, more than 170 Veterans Affairs clinics across the country are undergoing a thorough review, and 26 are facing a full investigation. In a story you only see on KITV, our very own Larry Amata sat down with a man here charged with mending the system. We had two days' notice, and a team of five uh, VA um, professionals came in. Less than two months on the job, Dr. Keith Novak watched and listened when for three days last week that team grilled his team on everything from scheduling to staffing. To be sure that they were doing it correctly and that there was no gaming of the system. They validated that everything was being done the way it should be and that we, didn't, we weren't hiding anything here. Not that he says there weren't glaring improvements to be made, including shifting administrative duties off neighbor island staff and off doctors to shifting their time back to patients. What we need to focus on is building our base. Recruitment and retention, a major problem. Novak says just this month they lost two full-time doctors replaced by temporary fill-ins. He says the VA is working with the University of Hawaii to grow local. For our local you know, population to, to go into the medical field and, and become physicians and nurses and then stay here to care for their family. They're still coming every day. The VA Pacific now services some 24,000 vets from Molokai to the Marshall Islands, growing 5% every year with sign-in kiosks helping to cut back on long lines. How the patient comes in, how they're being treated, um, making sure that they have an appointment um, to reschedule. But the VA says some 13% of no-shows are crimping its improved system with outdated information frustrating staff too. We cannot take them out of our system here if they don't let us know. Then there's available parking, or lack of it. The VA will begin adding more levels to the parking lot at Tripler, 120 spots by 2017, and possibly leasing nearby lots. We're trying, and you know, we're hoping that we take care of our veterans. One more step to push the VA into a better light. Larry Yamada, KITV4 News. The VA says each veteran is now assigned a patient-aligned care team that's comprised of a doctor, nurse, tech, and other staff. There are expanded office hours on Saturdays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Now, a year and a half ago, the VA opened its satellite clinic on Fort Weaver Road, and the design for an 80,000-square-foot facility somewhere in the Eva Plain called the Aloha Project is due next year.